his guitar in 1989, I believe it was. Could have been, yeah, 89. And uh, it was my primary guitar on tour with 1927. We're talking about a Music Man Stingray. It was made in 1977 by a guy called Leo Fender, who obviously went on to make Fender guitars, but um, Music Man was, I think, one of the first things that he did. <clears throat> anyway, this thing had been pretty beat up. Um, I haven't used it for uh, probably since the mid 90s, so I thought I should learn about guitars while I've got this time off and uh, see if I can restore it. So that's what I did. Learned how to refret the thing because the frets were absolutely ridiculous, they were just completely gone. Um, thought I'd give it a respray because the colour was terrible. I came across these pickups called Lace Sensor. And I should say that I'm not sponsored by, I'm not endorsed by any of the products that I'm mentioning here. These are just things that that I've come across over the years and, and really like. Actually, Johnny Greenwood from Radiohead put me onto Lace Sensor pickups and I just love the sound of them. Yeah, so I, I got a bunch of those. Rewired the things. Um, oh look, I basically stripped the whole thing, rewired it, painted it set it up, adjusted the truss rod, you name it, I've done it. And so, there she is. I'm very proud of this. I wired this one so that it has a, a main volume and a main tone control. And then this secondary control down here is actually a blend control, which when you turn it, depending on which pickup position you're in, it will blend, like if I'm in the bridge pickup position, this will blend the neck position, the neck pickup in, and so forth. You get the idea. There it is, my 1977 Music Man Stingray. Apparently there are only 500 of these made, so they're apparently quite rare. And look at me hanging on to it like a rare guitar. Anyway, that's my story.